Eam, a picturesque village nestled in the Derbyshire Dales of England, is the site of a dark chapter in history, for this small dwelling was the epicentre of a devastating bubonic plague outbreak and an incredible response. <laughs> Eam boasts a history that is both poignant and remarkable. This history is primarily centred around the village's extraordinary response to the bubonic plague epidemic that swept through the village in the 17th century, a tale of courage, sacrifice and unwavering community spirit. Eam's roots stretch far back in history, with evidence of human settlement in the area dating to the Roman period and beyond. It was a small, close-knit community, reliant on agriculture and mining within the picture postcard Peak District in northern England. England. As was typical of the time, villagers in Eam lived a relatively isolated existence, connected to the outside world through sporadic trade and communication channels. The story of Eam that is etched in the annals of history begins in 1665, when the devastating spectre of the bubonic plague descended upon the village. The catalyst for the outbreak was a seemingly innocuous parcel of cloth sent from London to the local tailor, Alexander Hadfield. Little did anyone know that this package contained more than mere fabric. It harboured fleas infected with the plague-causing bacterium Yersinia pestis. As the first cases of plague emerged, panic and terror gripped him. With no cure and limited understanding of the disease, the villagers faced an ominous and uncertain future. Leading the village during this dire period were the rector William Momperson and the Puritan minister Thomas Stanley. Faced with the harsh reality of the plague's devastation, Eam made a decision that would be immortalised for generations hence. The villagers chose to isolate themselves from the outside world, creating a boundary, a metaphorical line in the sand, to prevent the disease from spreading to nearby communities. The decision was not taken lightly. It required tremendous personal sacrifice and a heart-wrenching separation from the outside world. Yet the people of Eam were resolute, guided by their faith, their leaders, and their unwavering sense of duty to protect others. They formed a pact, often referred to as the Cordon Sanitaire, which aimed at limiting contact with neighbouring areas. Crucially, the people of Eam committed to accepting essential goods and supplies from neighbouring communities while leaving coins in running water to disinfect them. They would then collect the disinfected coins and use them to pay for the supplies. The Plague Stone, a boundary marker, became a focal point for these transactions. The price of their selfless decision was steep. The plague ravaged the village and Eam's population of approximately 350 people was devastated by the loss of around 260 lives. Entire families were wiped out and grief hung heavily in the air as the plague did its grim work. Funerals became a sombre and frequent occurrence as the dead were interred in mass graves to minimise further infection. By the close of 1666, the plague had exhausted its terrible course in Eam. The village's self-imposed quarantine had successfully prevented the spread of the disease to neighbouring towns and cities. The act of courage and sacrifice demonstrated by the people of Eam not only saved lives beyond their village, but also left its mark on history. The legacy of Eam's selflessness and community spirit endures to this day. The area serves as a beacon of resilience and an inspiring example of civic responsibility in the face of an epidemic that is immortalised in this small village. The story of Eam has been recounted in numerous books, documentaries and even a dramatic performance. Eam's history lives on in its physical landmarks and memorials which serve as poignant reminders of the village's grim past. These include the plague cottages. These historic houses provide a glimpse into the living conditions in Eam during the plague and have been preserved to educate visitors about this dark period. Then there is Eam Parish Church. The church played a central role in the villagers' lives during the plague. It contains a memorial to the events of 1665 to 1666 and serves as a testament to the strength of the community. Then there are the Riley Graves. These simple graves are the resting place of the Hancock family, among the first victims of the plague. Eam Museum houses a collection of artefacts and documents related to the plague and the village's history. It offers an in-depth exploration of Eam's past and events that unfolded during the deadly outbreak. Today, Eam remains a symbol of courage and unity in the face of adversity. The village continues to attract visitors who are drawn to its remarkable history, its well-preserved architecture and the enduring spirit of its community. The heroes of Eam and their sacrifice are much remembered in this still scarred little village. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe. And you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description or via YouTube Super Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.